Hello and welcome to this video on how to manage your iRacing channels in the Race Studio 3 and Race Studio Analysis software. So one of the things that iRacing does is it logs everything when you turn on telemetry and that can convert into huge data files. Uh, it can also mean that you have a lot of channels to be able to analyze, many of which you may never use. And so in this video, we're going to look at how to be able to manage those, both in import and then managing them in the analysis software itself. So the first place we're going to go to is Ray Studio 3, which I have open here. And in the top left hand side, uh, I'm going to click on this uh, uh, button here and I'm going to look at import of files. Uh, I have a new one available, which we're going to look at. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on settings first of all. Now you remember um, from previous videos, we've looked at making sure that Ray Studio 3 is looking at folders that you really want it to import data from. But what we didn't discuss is how many channels it brings through. And so one of the things you may notice here, it says all channels, which is ticked, or it may be unticked as it would be if I were using a CERTA Corsa uh, or R factor in this scenario. Now, what this means is it's going to bring in either all the channels available from iRacing or a smaller subset of files that AIM have determined would be useful for most drivers. If you're interested in terms of what those channels are, you can go to the AIM site and there's a documentation folder, which I've got right here. I will put a link to this uh, in the description box below where you can see the basic channels and the advanced channels. Now, for many these basic channels are advanced uh, in themselves, but uh, you can see that most of the information that people would want to be able to see, whether it's uh, brake, speed, RPMs, the gear, um, all sorts of information that most people will use with their analysis. And, and I will use most of these um, on a regular basis. However, if you didn't tick um, basic or the limited number of channels, you would also get all of these additional ones, which may vary depending on the vehicle that you're using. And so depending on the car and the type, if you're using an off-road truck, you may get different information that you may be using the Global MX-5. There's all sorts of different types of data that's being gathered, but this is useful if you want to be able to look at more data or there's something specific in here that you'd like to look at. So going back to Race Studio 3, it's really just toggling this switch on and off will give you that list of either basic channels or advanced channels. Now I'm a bit of a data junkie, so I click on all channels and I'm going to cancel out of that because um, I've already set it up to my own preferences and I'm just going to import that file. So I'm going to go back down here. I'm going to click on import this file. I'd like the AIM file and the Google file um, so that uh, I've got all of this data to analyze later. And again, I'm just going to click on convert. Now, as this develops the file, um, it's now converting all those iRacing channels into channels that I can use in the Race Studio uh, analysis software. So I'm going to exit out of here. I'm going to open up Race Studio Analysis, which as I do and as it loads, will have found that file that I've just imported. I won't go through the changing of the uh, test session today. I'll place a link in the top right hand side of the screen if anyone's interested in terms of working through the hygiene of your data and making sure it's in a place where you can get re really good analysis. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up and I'm going to um, uh, have a look on the left hand side here as we look at measures. So if you look at the measures graph list, all of those channels are now available to you. Now, one of the issues that many people say is that that's just so many channels to be able to work through. And this is where we're looking at the basic versus advanced. This list would be much smaller and more manageable if you bought in just the basic set of channels. But if you want to be able to have all of this additional information here, it's also useful to be able to, um, to, be able to manage these. So one of the things that I like to do is I like to use the user profile settings. Uh, I have two that are set up here. I have uh, iRacing, uh, just simple driver analysis that looks at uh, a few key channels that I like to look at. And again, if I click on uh, a lap and load up two laps for reference, um, if I load up uh, this one here, just right above it, you can see that I have all of the information that uh, uh, I look through personally to be able to analyze my data. What's happening on time distance, the GPS speed, and then all the different variables that the driver uh, is inputting into the car to be able to analyze performance. So to be able to make sure that this is clear, and I do get a lot of questions which we answer, which are people like, how did you get GPS speed at the top? The most important thing is you've got a huge selection of channels to be able to work through is to be able to manage them uh, in a format that works for you. So if you notice, all of the channels that I have are right here, right at the top of the list that I'll be able to work through. The simplest way to be able to work through these is to click on this sort channels box and you can move the channels that you want 
as you go through these particular variables. So if I said, for example, I want to be able to see the steering wheel angle um, just under the GPS speed, I can just click move up, put it there, click apply and exit, and that changes the view that I have of the data. Then to be able to make sure with all of these channels that I'm always able to see this data and these channels in a format that's easy and, and fast to be able to access, what I'll do is I'll go into user profiles, I'll create one um, by doing this, and I'll say here, iRacing channel demo, which is what we're chatting about today. I'll click on OK. That now appears here, and so I'll always be able to work through these channels in the measures graph to be able to work this data. Now, this is really useful if you do import even the basic uh, list of channels, but if you do bring in all of the channels, uh, the last thing you want is forever to be able to go through and say, I want to switch that back on, I want to switch it back off. Useful if you want to be able to have a quick reference or to set up different measures and views. But in many respects, if you're someone like me who really goes uh, to the same sort of analysis information on a regular basis, this way of being able to manage these channels is particularly useful. And so what I'll do is I will link to um, the uh, channel list from AIM uh, in the description box below. Uh, hope you found this video useful. If you like this and you like this iRacing series, please don't forget to subscribe because we'll continue to be able to create more videos over the next few weeks as we develop more understanding as to how to analyze iRacing data in the AIM software. Thanks very much uh, and uh, have fun working with your data.